Hey there, it's Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger and Forex U-Turn. And today is May 21st, 2012. Okay, so let's take a quick look, see at the uh, setups here. And uh, basically, here's our 3 o'clock open, okay? Um, if you did sell another uh, rally up here, okay? Well, after it broke through the support here, okay, it just went up against you. <laughs> it was not good. Um, anyway, and then we came down again. You wouldn't have sold here. Actually, you wouldn't have sold in here. <laughs> what am I talking about? The filter was blocked down here. Jeez, Jason, wake up. Wake up here. Come on. Okay, so there was no selling in here uh, anyway, and the, felt, the whole... All, it, it didn't start for the sell mode till over here. Okay, so you wouldn't have sold it here because we had support in the way. Okay, right there. Um, but once we broke through the support right here, okay, any retracement in here, you would have had a sell. Okay, then of course we had probably divergence here to go the other way. Okay. So you could have made a few pips selling the rallies in here. Um, let's take a look at the one minute. And we'll go back to 2 o'clock. As you can see, it broke through support right there. came right back up. You would have sold it there, somewhere up in here, even in here. Okay, it didn't go back into our trigger line, but anyway... There you would have got your 10 pips, okay? And this one was too far too fast. And then basically after that, our window of opportunity ended. Uh, we did break through support here. Um, the most you could have got out of that, maybe two pips, but I highly doubt it. It would have shot quickly up on you and burned you. But anyway, that's it for the one minute. Let's take a look at the pound. And the pound... Uh, here was our 3 o'clock open. If you would have sold it here, the, the filter did agree at that time. You would have sold it here, you would have got burned. Um, so, that was not good. Um, then, just like in the US session, she dropped, she swooped down right here. And uh, But we were too close for comfort to the support here. So there was no selling here at all. And then it just, it just like dropped like a rock real quick. And, if you sold in here, well, you got a few pips, maybe, if you're lucky. That's it. Not much uh, happening today. It's a Monday. So, anyway, let's take a look at the Swissy. Swissy's the same as the Euro, but the opposite. The only place you really could have bought was up in here, okay? Because over here, we were too close to resistance, just like we are too close to support on the Euro. Okay, so that's it for Snagger, and let's take a look at U-Turn. And U-Turn gave us a nice, beautiful M formation. Um, it didn't trigger us to to get short with the filter till about right here. It only gave you about 30 pips, and then she turned around on you. The pound uh, also gave a W formation, uh, an, M, an M formation, I should say, to sell it short, and uh, it didn't get you short also until over here. And uh, it didn't go very far, and now it's still trying to go down some more. So anyway, that's it for the setups for today. Thanks for listening. You guys have a great day. Um, I just want to say, actually, one thing. Next, uh, today is uh, Memorial Day in Canada. Uh, I didn't go anywhere. That's why I'm doing the videos today. Because I kind of feel bad I didn't do them for you on Friday. So anyway, but next Monday, I will not be doing the, the videos as most of, you know, my... Uh, you know, followers are, are Americans, and they're having, they're celebrating Memorial Day, and I don't think the market will be moving very much on that day, okay, it's the American news, the American U.S. dollar that moves the market, not the Canadian dollar, so it doesn't matter, tiddly do, if there's a Canadian holiday with this market, it just, it doesn't matter, you know, other than if you're trading the U.S. dollar CAD, which I don't trade that, I don't trade that loony, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so there will not be setups next Monday on the 28th of May. Okay, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.